Hello students, in this video we'll discuss the Lee Carter method of stochastic mortality improvement. We will consider the notion of a central death rate and this is defined as mx for age x as qx, the probability that a person at age x survives less than a year, divided by the integral, or the average value, over the entire year of the survival ship, t, p, x, dt. And we can make several different assumptions. If we make, for example, an assumption of under u, d, d, this mx becomes qx over the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 minus tqx, which is 1 minus s times qx under the udd assumption, put s ds. And we can easily integrate this. We can see this is going to be qx over 1 minus qx over 2. And now we can solve for mx and invert this and figure out what the formula for mx is in terms of q. So what we can do now is we can find out mx is in terms of q. So under the UDD, we have this expression. And this, what this will tell us is this will tell us that qx, if you solve for it, so qx in this model will be mx over 1 plus mx over 2. And the UDD assumption. There's also a, an assumption of the constant force of mortality. And we can make a similar argument and figure out what the qx is under constant force of mortality. So now what we want to do is we want to consider the Lee Carter model. And so this Lee Carter model says that the natural log of this central death function m for age x at time t, so this is my age, and this is my time. So I have an age and a time. So the natural log of this central death rate as a function of age and time is equal to alpha x plus beta x k t plus a residual error depending on x and t, epsilon x and t. And in most applications of the Lee Carter model, this epsilon x t is small enough to neglect, right? Very small. And so what we'll do is we'll neglect this term in our analysis of the Lee Carter model. And how is this kt, this random variable kt, defined? It's defined by the following recursion. kt is equal to kt minus 1, the previous term in the sequence. And then plus a drift, c, which is uniform throughout all time scales. And then a standard deviation, zt. And here this is zt, look here, zt is normal, 0, 1. And so what we do is as we do more and more terms in this expansion, we get more factors of these normal random variables, and we'll assume that they're independent, right? All independent. Okay. And so this is the Lee Carter model. Now what we can do with this model is we can analyze it, and we can make some observations over here. So the first thing we can note is that once we have this relationship, if I just look at a particular fixed k, and this is given to us, so say for example, as an example of this, let's suppose that k of t1 was just a constant. Let's say the constant was equal to negative 2. And let's say that c was maybe negative 3. And sigma was 0.25. In this example for Lee Carter, what we would have is we would say that, well, our natural log natural log of mx of t would be equal to alpha x, if that was given to us, and then beta x times the expression negative 2, and then minus 3, and then plus 0.25z, and then in this case we'll just put over zt. And this of course again is normal 0, 1. And so what does this tell us about the natural log? This tells us, in particular, that in this particular example, that the natural log of m of x t is normal. And the mean, we can compute what the mean is. The mean is going to be alpha x, and then this over here is a negative 5. So then I'll have a negative 5 beta x. 
And then the typical problems will be given to us. And then, what is the variance of this normal random variable? Well, over here we have a beta x and a 0.25. That's the coefficient of z. So the variance will be 0.25 beta x squared. That's the variance of this normal random variable. And so in particular, what we see for Lee Carter is that this m of x, so hence m of x t is log normal with parameters alpha x, negative 5 beta x, and 0.25 beta x quantity squared as the variance of that. So for log normal random variables, we can exponentiate a normal random variable and get the central death rate is approximated or improves on this scale. And so now what we can see is we can use this relationship over here. So what we have is we have qx is a log normal over 1 plus 1 half, the same log normal. And now the point is, if we analyze this function, this if we think of the function x over 1 plus x halves, so just as a note, the function x over 1 plus x over 2, if we do the derivative of this, what we'll have is we'll have the bottom times the derivative of the top, minus the top times the derivative of the bottom, over the bottom squared, those x over 2's will cancel, and you'll just have 1 over 1 plus x over 2 quantity squared, which is non-negative. And so in particular what this says is this is this q of x, the survival ship, is going to be an increasing function of a long normal, log normal random variable, which allows me to actually do a direct comparison with the confidence intervals and with the means and the medians. And so all the information we have about log, log normal random variables will translate to this qx function. Thank you very much.